talk about the coach. Let's just talk about the press conference. Let's talk about what transpired. The whole nation's got reactions to what JJ did. I mean, his press, press conference was quite incisive. There's no doubt that he's intellectual. He believes what he believes, and he's taught it. And obviously, he was recommended by Mike Krzyzewski. But for him to start the press conference, the first question was his reaction to the reaction from LA fans and from the national media that he's not qualified. And the first statement out of his mouth was, I don't give an F what you think about my credentials, whether you're a fan or the media. And boom, that was a flashpoint. Everybody around the country is writing about that. But I'll, I'll say this, he, he was really open. He was really honest with what he said in answering <coughs> other questions. Uh, he said his ego was not bruised. He was not hurt. He was not upset when they interviewed him. And it looked like he was going to get the job. And next thing you know, Dan Hurley is meeting with Jeannie Buss and Rob Palunka. He said, hey, I'd interview a, a two-time NCAA champion myself. Uh, he he shuddered the rumors that LeBron James had any input into this at all. He said he never talked to LeBron James until after he, the offer had been made. And the Lakers said LeBron was never, ever canvassed by the front office about J.J. Redick. Um, he says in terms of the offense, he says LeBron's going to shoot more threes. And LeBron can hit threes. They're, <coughs> they're going to run stuff to get, get him open to hit threes. But he said the hub of the offense, they're going to run this offense through Anthony Davis, not LeBron James standing out on the perimeter holding the basketball. He made a statement which I don't quite understand this roster far off from being a championship roster. What? Uh, what? What video is he looking at? Because we've looked at two to three years of Rob Palunka's acquisitions, and they haven't really done very much over in the big picture of things. Uh, in terms of the general manager, quite open uh, about what, what flipped the light switch on for him. He, he said that uh, J.J. Redick uh, was innovative in virtually everything he does in terms of basketball. He says they're going to reshape the organization based on his philosophy. He said that Redick has a unique perspective of how you teach young players to play what needs to be played. So obviously there's going to be a big learning curve there. He called him uh, an innovator, uh, says he's very forward thinking in terms of what he wants to do with the science of teaching young players. And he says, we're just looking forward to what he's going to bring started immediately. And, and JJ Redick may coach the Lakers in that summer league team that they're going to put together. Usually you just have assistants come in and the coach sits in the stands with the GM and observes, but they say Redick may they put his fingerprints all over everything they're going to do there. The other ang interesting angle to the hiring of JJ Redick was, was Stan Van Gundy, who is reportedly about to become maybe the assistant head coach to the Lakers to be the veteran conscience with the rookie head coach. And of course, Van Gundy coached Redick uh, down in Orlando. And he's, he's got a lot of experience over the course of his career. He says that Redick is going to go through quite a learning curve. He says there will be pregame anxiety with the kid as a head coach, and there'll be postgame torture when they lose because first-year coaches do lose games. He says when Redick was a player, he really took losing very hard. Uh, he's indicated there's a long list of things that J.J. Redick is going to have to experience for the first time and is going to have to learn. He says that losing in the NBA for a first-year coach tears you up. He says, you know, the day of decisions will be every day he's a coach as, as it relates to game plan, teaching, dealing with problems with players, injuries, losses, road trips. He says Redick is about to experience responsibility to be a head coach like he's never, ever experienced before. He closed out the interview. Stan Van Gundy did. He said this guy could be a very, very good coach for a very, very long time. So, John, when you heard J.J. Redick drop an F-bomb with the first, first question he answered, what did you think? Arrogant or just very confident about who he is and, and how he intends to operate Laker basketball? And what, what's your thought to what J.J. said, what Palenka said, and what Stan Van Gundy with all the miles of experience in his life said? Well, I think with J.J., we're understanding this is a different breed of a head coach. You know, he's younger and, you know, he's going to be a lot more candid in his thoughts. And, you know, so I don't know. There's there's glimpses of J.J. that sound interesting, that could work. But I do you believe Rob Palenka when he says they never consulted with LeBron James on who they were going to hire, never talked to him about J.J. Redick? I mean, that that's a load of malarkey, don't you think? 
Well, yeah, I think that's hard to believe considering the insinuation is that LeBron is the de facto general manager in the locker room and has probably had a lot of influence in the past. I don't know which truth or fiction is probably a little gray area there. Uh, but, you know, J.J. Reddick says it's going to be his team and we're going to run things that I want to run. And these guys will learn what I'm going to teach him. So what do you, what you think about Van Gundy saying that this is not going to be easy? No, I mean, I'm sure, but he's been through it as a player. He's seen the coaches go through it. I like the uh, the, uh, the fact that he's super ultra competitive. And, you know, if the losses really grind on him, that might actually be a good thing because he's going to demand excellence on the court. So, you know, it's weird that they pick Redick. I mean, I was shocked that he was even considered. But the more I'm hearing, the more I'm like, okay, well, let's give this guy a chance. So we'll see what happens because the Lakers didn't have many other options. So that's the sum total. If you're a Laker fan. Jump on my Lakers line. Get into the chat box, fans forum. We want you to join us. We get to halftime here. 